Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you two DIYs which are really useful if you like nail art. It's a nail polish rack and a pot to put nail art tools. These DIYs are really cheap because I'm only using cardboard and paper. So for these DIYs you will need cardboard, a ruler, a pencil, a cutter, scissors, some glue, tape and paper. So now that everything's ready, let's get started! For this first DIY, begin by cutting out pieces of cardboard. 4 pieces of 30cm long and 8cm large, 5 pieces of 30cm long and 4cm large, and 8 pieces of 8cm long and 4cm large. To do that, begin by outlining the shapes using a pencil and a ruler. And then cut them out using a cutter. So when you've cut out all the pieces of cardboard, it's time to build the nail polish rack. Using a piece of tape, stick one big shape and one small shape together. And then do the same thing on the other side. When you're done, stick a medium shape on the side still using tape. And to finish, stick all the sides together to have the shape of a box. Now stick another medium shape on the side, but this time it will be a little bit tricky because this side will also be shared with the next stage. Which means that we need to put tape on both sides of the piece of cardboard. For that, stick a small piece of tape on one side and gently stick it on the other side because we'll need to take it off later. For the second piece of tape, stick it on this side and gently on the other. And put a third one still using the same technique but make sure to alternate the sides. When you're done, do the same thing on the other end of the piece of cardboard. And continue to alternate the pieces of tape all along the edge of the piece of cardboard. Now, for all the pieces of tape gently stick below, stick them off.
and stick them on the structure. Then add a big shape on the top of the structure. For that, stick off all the pieces of tape gently stick on the top. And stick them back on the piece of cardboard. And then, add two small pieces of cardboard on the sides. And use some tape to stick all the parts together. To finish, add some pieces of tape on the side to make sure it's well stick. Then, repeat the same steps for the other stages. The last step is to add some pieces of cardboard on the edges to prevent polishes to fall. For that, you just need pieces of cardboard of 1.5 cm large and it doesn't matter if it's not long enough, because for this part, you can use several pieces of cardboard on the same stage. For example, mine was not long enough, so I've put a small piece of cardboard at the end. And to finish, add a piece of tape on the edges to make it stronger. And the nail polish rack is done. So now it's time to decorate. Begin by sticking some little squares of paper on the sides using some glue. Make some notches and stick it. Then take a sheet of paper and cut it out the right size. Then put some glue on it and stick it. Now do the same thing for the edges. Make some notches and stick it. Now stick another piece of paper in the inside. And finish by adding another one on the top of the structure.
Then repeat the same steps for the other stages. And this is what you should get. For the second DIY, begin by cutting out pieces of cardboard. Four rectangles of 8.5 cm long and 7.5 cm large and one square of 7.5 cm side. To do that, begin by outlining the shapes using a pencil and a ruler and then cut them out using a cutter. So when you've cut out all the pieces of cardboard, it's time to build the pot. Using pieces of tape, stick two rectangles together. And continue like that with all the other rectangles. At the end, you should get a box. To finish, stick the square on one end of the box. And the pot is done. So now, it's time to decorate. I've printed out the design I want to apply on my box. I'll link the template in the description box down below. I'm now cutting it out. And using some glue, I'm sticking it on my box. And I'm making some notches to make it fit. Then, using a long sheet of paper, I'm covering the other sides of the box. And I'm still making notches to make it fit. And now, I'm adding pieces of paper in the inside of the box. And to finish, I'm adding a last piece of paper at the bottom of the pot. So here's the final result. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to click the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel for more videos and thanks for watching!